Hmm. And my guy has been so accommodating. Shoutouts to Apocalypse, honestly. <laughs> Apocalypse. <laughs> uh, yeah, shoutouts to Apocalypse, because, like, holy moly, he, um, he's been so accommodating. On, uh, on Thursday, we were supposed to have our battle, and, um, I had to stay at work three hours longer than I expected. And because of that, I had to keep pushing back the date on the time we were going to fight, and eventually... I didn't even, I didn't even have the time to fight him on Thursday, um, but he kept pushing it back with me. He said Saturday works, Sunday works, so he's four hours ahead of me. I went ahead and um, got up early so I could do this before I go to PAX, instead of trying to do this at PAX like I'm going to do with my uh, with my drafting for the season three WBE. But um, here we go. Good luck and have fun to my opponent. If that be Chad, then that be Chad. Also, I hope the audio is fixed. I'm gonna go ahead and ask real quick in the chat. Okay, let me grab my team. Okay, perfect. And let's, let's do, I like the mustard fight. Cool. Thank you, Marnie. Or Katie. Or anything you want to go by. Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Grim. I'm gonna do my best. I've got a weird team for you, and uh, hopefully it performs. I pretty much relied all of my calculations on on, um, on Gyarados and the Galar Slow King. Oh, communication ended. Let me just make sure. Oh no. Okay, so one of his Pokemon was wrong. Um, I'm gonna. Oh wait, Marnie, you're totally different from. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I see the I say the KDA Marnie and the TD Mercy, and I get them confused. And I know you guys are totally different. Um, I'm so <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's embarrassing. Anyways, um, my opponent's Pokemon was wrong. Um, so they're gonna change that real quick. I'm gonna wait here with the same code. Yeah, I, I can be patient. No, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. No, I'd, uh... Yeah, there's no reason to... be upset about his Pokemon being wrong. I made him wait, like, three days to do this battle, so I can wait a couple of minutes for him to get the new one. New Pokemon. What is it, Bister? Do you want to be on stream? Bubba, you want to be on stream? All right, it's cat time. Can you give me licks? I don't know if you can hear his purring. He's got purrs. Where are we going, bubs? Where are we going? You got beautiful eyes, buddy. There we go. You want to get out of here? Yeah? Do you want out? <laughs> okay, you can't have the cables, but you can, get, you can leave. All right, there you go, bub. Tiny cat stream. What is it? What is it this day? He gets really loving in the morning. Like, look at this, look at this. Let's see if I can properly show everyone. Oh, 
I'm not showing no one. Bister, uh... Bister doesn't want to be seen. Hey, hey, hey. No need to chew on my cables, buddy. Whoa, 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 chill. Come here. Come here. Yeah. I'll just transition to cats only streams. Hey. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can hear him purr when I <laughs> when I bring him close to the to the mic. Oh, there he is. There he is in the background, under the chair. I don't know if you can see him. He would be right here. That's him. Yeah. What's up, Celeste? Hmm. <sighs> I guess I could take a second to talk about the team a little bit more, too. Let's see, was there anything different I did? Anything applicable? Let's just go over the movesets, see if anything jumps out to me. Because, like, I know I'm running max HP, max attack. No speed investment necessary. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, just because it'll one-shot the Urshifu Dark that he has, even if it's max HP. Um, even if it's spread. So that'll be pretty good. And then Follow Me is just because uh, Wicked Blow is a three-hit KO, I think. Uncle Fable as well. Thunderbolt, just for stab. Um, not a whole lot of other things going on here. I could have run Leer again, just like I did on the other draft, but I don't think it'll be as useful. There we go. Um, this guy's actually kind of interesting too, and stat-wise. Uh, I know he's faster than Incineroar, but I just went ahead and went with max HP and split stats because that would allow me to survive the most things. I don't really need the speed. I mean, it's kind of obvious with what I'm going for, everything here. Uh, yeah, max special attack here as well. Um, kind of funny that it's stronger than Charizard in terms of raw stat, not uh, actual damage, but you know. Ah, oh, Bovister's gonna be the death of me. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy to explain, I guess. Uh, max HP, or er, max attack, max speed here. Pretty normal, pretty normal. I'm curious if Aura Wheel will actually be useful. I considered bringing something else. Oh, nice. Thank you, Seth. I'll see you around. Uh, thanks for the good luck. I'm gonna need that luck. I'm gonna need that desperately. Got some wacko things going on. Now, okay, so... <laughs> Funny story, as I was um, planning for this week, I spent like three or four hours uh, prepping a trick room team with Galarian Slowbro, and I thought, okay, I can bring Slowbro, trick room, weakness policy, and then go physical instead and really catch him off guard. And that kind of all fell apart when I realized I have Slow King, not Slowbro, and that just kind of... Uh, four hours down the drain, all those calculations were pointless. It was my fault for not paying as much attention as I could have, but I mean... Oh well. It was uh, pretty heartbreaking to realize that the whole team I had constructed was essentially useless. Hmm. Alright. Opponent says all good, they're searching now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start searching as well. Perfect. And good luck, have fun. I, uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty interesting matchup. 
And I really hope, really hope my cats don't uh, do anything crazy. <laughs> As you saw, the stream was cutting out when Bo Bister would um, mess with the cables, so. That was not cool. Mm hmm. It's also a bummer that the only trick room setter on my team is Slow King because um, he's got a Jinx that he drafted, and Jinx has both Imprison and Trick Room and Fake Out. So, like, I just kind of insta lose in that matchup. If he were to bring it, um, then there's also there's also Whimsicott, which could run Trick Room just for the tech, right? If we double Trick Room on the same turn, he just does nothing. So he does bring the Gastro because it's necessary, he does bring the Mamoswine because it's necessary, and he does bring the Duraludon. Now what I didn't realize he would bring is the Stoutland, so that's kind of cool. And honestly, I think I can just lead... Let's see... Let's go with more Pico and Slowking first. Because Gyarados, well, Gyarados could be useful. Cat Cam when? Uh, I mean, I'd have to buy another Cam just to point at them. But it's a really good idea. So let me actually, let me get started on Cat Cam. Uh, but as far as this goes, do I really want Slowking first? That's kind of the question here. Um, so let me not bring Slow King first. I'll bring Slow King next time, see how that matchup turns out. Because I feel like I gotta bring the fake out. It's pretty necessary. Again, I feel like he's going to bring... Whimsicott plus Sweeper as his lead, so. Cool, yep. Whimsicott Mamoswine. So this is a really oppressive lead against my team. It would be really easy for me to just get a fake out here. He's probably gonna max that bad boy, but if I go like this. Hey, Fister, please. Buddy, Bubs, hey, hey, there's no need for you to munch that cable. I might have to kidnap my cat right now. One sec. Alright, Bubs. You're gonna be my streaming buddy. Destroying my pack's wristband. I need this. I need it. Alrighty. So getting that airstream is gonna be pretty good. Allows me to be faster than his Mamoswine, hopefully. I'm thinking he might have a the gastro in the back just because otherwise he kind of loses to my Gyarados right now. Do 
Here's a stout learned. Give me the intimidate. I think. Oh, buddy. You want to get down? Here you go. Let's go ahead and parting shot. Preserve the more Pico if I can. Um, Mamo's the bigger threat in my opinion. Actually, if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead. Hmm. If Mamo's the bigger threat, could be sashed. So I'm going to go ahead and Aura Wheel into Max Overgrowth. Wow. Okay, so he's just kind of chilling with that. Um, I was still slower. Wow. So note to self, um, even at plus one, my Gyarados is slower than Mamoswine. Unless there's something I missed. I'm gonna have to take a look at it. Everything. Also, I just realized his dog is so slow. Very, very, very slow. Yawn, huh? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, unfortunately, I am gonna give up my dynamo. It was Charizard. He bluffed the Gastrodon. Okay. So here, I can just do this. Should I even keep Gyarados? Okay, I'm gonna go for Max Geyser, because if he doesn't go for Max Guard, then I just basically get a free kill. Hmm, I don't know if that's the best course of action. Maybe Stoutland was the one to attack. That way I can have a 4v1 at the end game. I guess the important thing here... Oh no, you know what? I should have gone into Stoutland, because then I could have hit the... Um... Yeah, I should have gone into Stoutland, because then I could have actually gotten the... Rain up by hitting Max Geyser into him, which would reduce Charizard's damage overall. But that's... Yeah, he had to do that. I mean, that made sense. And this will help a bit with Stoutland, with the Intimidates. Although the plan here is to just go Parting Shot into Parting Shot into Parting Shot. Ooh, so that was pretty cool. I got his White Herb out. Hey, 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 careful, careful. It's gonna deal zero damage. No freeze, hopefully. Good. Times two speed, my Gyarados should be faster than Charizard. And I'm just gonna, again, I'm gonna keep hitting parting shots into this guy. No real reason for me not to. Although I wonder what Charizard would go for in this scenario. I would, I would guess the Wildfire, just because it's gonna do so much damage. Oh boy. Is this an Airstream in, actually? Okay, okay. Wow, okay. Torcat's tanky. One turn of sleep. Get the parting shot. Uh, probably Clefable for the magic card.
And now that he's a plus one, he's definitely faster. I'll go ahead and hit a follow me, just in case. I get this waterfall. I also just realized that I was scared of taking damage from Wildfire when it didn't even happen. That's so how good I am at playing Pokemon video games competitive style. So, do you think Charizard's wings are cloaked in fire, or does he lose his wings when he Dynamaxes? Yeah, Clefable will be thick. Gyarados is asleep, but that's okay, because I can do another follow me. Yawn is kind of okay. Clefable's so gross. I suspect he's going to go for Protect here, so I'm going to just go ahead and swap out to Morpico. And I'm also going to go for a Protect. Hoping, hoping that I'm able to get at least the Protect in this new, uh, maybe like a Fake Out next turn. I'm predicting he goes for Protect on the Charizard. Ew. It would make sense in my opinion. Oh no, he just goes he just goes right for the damage. Here it is fast asleep. <clears throat> Dual wing beat. Physical Zard. Okay. Okay, well, I can just do this. Again, I kind of suspect a Protect, which is why I'm going for the Parting Shot. I just don't know if Morpeak goes faster than Stoutwind. Now that I think about it, probably isn't. Although I do want the Wildfire to end. Okay, good. Fable's gonna be key here. I need to get at least one fake tears into that Charizard, because Dazzling Gleam's not gonna do much otherwise. Yo! What? It had Surf. Okay, so that Surf is for the Gastrodon then. That's pretty cool. Let me get this fake tears off. And Harding Shot into Charizard if I can. I understand it might kill my Morpico. But what you gonna do? I need to I need to get something going on. And I'd like to keep the keep the Tora Cat seeing as it's so tanky. Oh, I should have named the Tora Cat Bobister. Oh well. Next time, next time. Okay. Hey, buddy. Damn. That, uh... Yo, what's up, Pops? No worries about lateness. 
You're good, you're good. Is this the last turn of... Uh-oh. So they're both down bad, meaning I can probably get off a Dazzling Gleam. And a Fake Out on the Charizard. And no Fake Out on the Charizard. Let's see how much a flamethrower does to this boy. Stoutland obviously is not going to be dealing much damage. Charizard is probably going to go for the Flare Blitz. Dual Wing Beat instead. Okay. That's a good play. A critical hit. No. Doesn't really matter, thankfully. Clef is asleep for a turn. takes like negative damage from all of these guys anyways. And I'll just spam Dazzling Gleam until the match is over. Okay, so Charizard has the White Herb. Really good to know. He did bring Whimsicott, which was big. Oh, Sleeping Cool Fable's pretty cute. Ice Fang. to be spanked, just FYI, so that's what I'm doing. Look, check this out. Don't know if you can hear the purring, but yep. It's going crazy. And then we just get to protect real quick, get some recovery going. This Charizard's gonna end up killing itself by accident, thankfully. Maybe due to Flare Blitz. And Stoutland, again, also thankfully, is very, very drastically reduced with all the Intimidates I got, plus the Parting Shots. He's definitely gonna play around that next time. Hmm, but he might just win due to Pokemon alive. It's not something I'd consider. 
Props to him. So I need a crit pretty bad here. For sure, Charizard protects next turn. Two minutes left. I think I lose because of timer. Hmm. This is a really this is a really interesting match. Is this dual wing beat? If it's Flare Blitz, that'd be hilarious. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Ooh, a critical hit or what? No. Why would you do that? No, you gave- no! You gave me the Mon. Wait, what do you have? You have Helping Hand and Ice Fang. You have Surf. Surf, Helping Hand, Ice Fang, and Yawn? Don't I just win? Holy crap. Wait. Ugh, man, all those turn three sleeves were like, they added up. They stalled me out. It's definitely smart of them to run the timer down. Because that Flare Blitz was, oh wow. Yeah, he gets he gets enough chip off of that alone, I think. Oh man, that's really close. I have no idea. I can't tell. I can't tell. It's down to the pixels, man. It's down to the pixels. He's gonna take this time with this turn, and that makes sense. I can't tell. And I think he has to attack. I don't... Yo, this w <laughs> this was crazy. I've never had a, a timeout. <clears throat> we have like the same percentage of HP. All he has to do is hit me. What? 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 Yo, what? Yo Holy moly. That was insane. So close, so close. I would love their card. Awesome. Okay, um, I need to use the restroom real quick, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back.
Oh, alrighty. I have returned. Don't know where I put my controller. Here it is. Okay. We'll battle again with the same rules, take the same team. I'm gonna swap it up this time. Just a little bit though. Ooh. Thank you, Mercy. Yeah, no, this guy's playing really well. He's calling a lot of... Okay, ready. Good luck. Uh, yeah, no, this guy's playing out of his mind. That was, that was a lot of good reads on his part, and a lot of... a lot of nonsense <laughs> going on with the... with that HP stat at the end. Yikes. Very lucky that I brought leftovers. I was I was certain that his um I was certain his HP was higher or equal to. Okay, no lie, I don't think he's gonna bring Whimsicott this time. Um, so I'm just I'm just gonna lead it. I'm just gonna lead Slow King, Thundo. We're gonna start pressing fools. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if Thunders is going to really do much right now. Let's see. I mean, Gyarados is a good Pokemon regardless, but obviously that Torracat more Pico combo was pretty strong. Uh, Torracat was better in that scenario, so I'm going to go ahead and bring him. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of expecting Duraludon to show up a little bit. So... Um, if it's like Duraludon Whimsicott, I should have a pretty good lead against that. <sighs> oh hey, I saw this really cool coat at PAX. And it cost $500. And someone should send me $500 so that I can get that coat. <laughs> Alright, good luck Chad, we got this. One of us got this, at least. Look at that. Whimsicott Duraludon. Exactly what I thought he might bring. So totally cool for him to go for, like, Taunt or something gnarly like that. Because I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start pumping out damage. Mm, wait, 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 wait. I might not even need to start pumping out damage. I can max use this guy. And Eerie Impulse this guy. And that's... That's all she wrote. Whimsicott is probably Sashed. But, like, after Eerie Impulse, Duraludon will be pointless. Yeah, he's gotta be confused as to what the heck this lead is gonna do. Withdrawing Whimsicott is a fantastic idea. I really like that, actually. Because he's going to go for the yawns. But I'll be able to boost my special attack with this. I'm curious if I'll be fast enough to be able to... Um, like with Thunderous? I'm curious if I'll be fast enough to be able to actually kill the Stoutland with the Slow King. Because I know this will not kill. Although if I remember correctly, Stoutland isn't like a super duper beefy, or I mean fast Pokemon. It is with the, um... It is with like Sandrush. But I think it only has like... I think it's got like base 100 speed, so if it's not... Maxed out in speed, it won't be super duper fast or useful. I can just go for another one of these. I'll actually go for Thunder Wave, and here's why. If I get the Paralysis on Stoutland, then I don't have to worry about Stoutland. Well, Mister, come here. Hey. 
Bobus is being a butthole again. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. No, oh, that's a good man. Yeah, he's a good man. Come here. Come here, my bubba. Mammal swine. That's cool. I like that. You ever notice Thunder Wave and Eerie Impulse look pretty similar? Oh, I got really lucky there. I got super lucky with that one. Alright, and then max HP Slow King should be able to, with max overgrowth here, do some good work. This puppy be roaring. Oh no, he missed a, he missed a high horsepower. That's uh, that's so unfortunate, actually. That's that might even that might even just win me the game, man. Like that's really unfortunate. Man, I don't not like this. Not like this. This is not the way. Because I calced for, um, I definitely calced for Earthquake, and it, it's like a 2 to 3 hit KO. But I did not calculate for high horsepower with, um, Helping Hand. And honestly, that's... I'm really sorry that missed, man. That was, that was dumb. Here, you can see the cat better if I do that. Hmm, I don't know if it's going to be weakness policy or not. Here we go. I was hoping he'd be able to see his biscuits that he's making. He's chilling. There's the tailwind. Dude, this is not the way. I'm, I'm really sorry, man. You missed a couple of really important moves there, and that's just super unfortunate. It's not the way I wanted to win. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, man. That was rough. That was a rough game, too, right there. Shoot. Man. Goes big, goes big. whole game was given to me, dude. That was really unfortunate. He actually did a decent amount into Slow King. Because he, he's... Okay, consider this. He's Assault Vested. And I have now two Eerie Impulses onto you. Alright, there you go, bud. Oh, don't pull that. Don't pull that, Vister. Thank you. Thank you.
man. I mean, really GG game one. Um, the total opposite in terms of hacks for game two. I mean, I'm sure you were going to play it really well, and that Duraludon, you you holding on to the max was really, really, really smart, because obviously I just, I'm, I'm max hungry, and I just keep going for kills, and most of my game plan um, for VGC relies around maxing, and I know that's like pretty normal to say, because most people rely around that, but I know a lot of people that play VGC um, that are uh, way, way better than me. <laughs> they, uh, they, they know to hold on to the max. They know how to play around maxes as well as VGC in general. This is my first this is my first year playing VGC, so anything doubles related. Um, I played singles 6v6 on showdown and on cart for like six or for like ten years. So thankfully I'm familiar with Pokemon, but like still learning VGC is kind of kinda of whack. But man, uh <laughs> GG to Apocalypse, Chad, uh, very sorry about those that was that was dumb. That, it just was dumb. Um, the high horsepower miss into the Draco miss. That I don't know, dude. That was that was pretty messed up. But uh, thanks for sticking it out. Um, GGs to my opponent. Thanks everyone for coming by to the stream. I'm gonna probably make breakfast. Um, bug my girlfriend to wake up or something like that because we have packs to go to in a couple hours. So goodbye everybody. Have a great day and. Um, Thanks for stopping by.